Hello Mer friends, welcome back to my channel, Naturally Mermaid. I'm Ariel Sahar and today we're talking about green cleaning products. One of the first things we probably switch out while we are transitioning to a more eco-friendly lifestyle is our cleaning products or at least they should be because that is an easy way to help eliminate or reduce the toxins in your home it's just healthier for your house and for the most part it should be healthier for the planet the top three most popular green cleaning products are seventh generation mrs myers and method in this video, I'm going to be somewhat comparing and contrasting each of these three products with my opinion on how I like them, like how well they work, and I'll also be grading them on the level of environmentally friendliness based on the EWG website, which is a good place to reference to see how environmentally friendly a product is. While I was doing research for this video, I realized that these green cleaning products aren't as eco-friendly as we may be led to believe, but I 100% do believe that it's better than the leading brands such as Lysol and Clorox and whatever you would typically go to like Walmart and buy for the cheapest amount. Hey, future Ariel here. <laughs> I just wanted to give a disclaimer that I filmed this video about six months ago. And while some of my thoughts and feelings about these cleaning products are still accurate, some things have changed for me. I'm posting this video anyway because I thought that it had some good information that I didn't want to just trash or refilm. So I'm going to be interjecting with some of my thoughts as the video continues. First thing is that I don't still believe that these products are 100% better than the leading brands. But in some cases, I do think that they're slightly better, but just keep watching to find out why. First up, let's talk about dish soap. The very first natural dish soap that I tried was Method, the Clementine scent. I think that this is one of my favorites, if not my very favorite. Coming in second after the Method dish soap would be 7th Generation, which I just recently started trying. And last place, which I probably will not buy again, is Mrs. Myers. Right off the bat, I must acknowledge that 7th Generation is owned by Unilever. Those are the people that make Dove and St. Ives, Vaseline, and a bunch of other products like that. And Method and Mrs. Myers are both owned by SC Johnson. And those are the people who make Glade and Pledge and Windex. So this is an important factor because both Unilever and SC Johnson are both companies that test on animals and just have awful ethics in general as far as like environmental damage goes. So even though these brands, Method, Mrs. Myers, and Seventh Generation are being promoted as non-toxic, it's hard to believe that they truly are given who owns them. So let me tell you my opinion first. I like the Method dish soap because it's thick and it suds well and I didn't feel like I needed to keep reapplying it while I was doing dishes. I also felt like it did a good job of cutting through grease and it felt like a regular dish soap. Before getting Method, I would use Gain dish soap. I really didn't see much of a difference from uh, switching those two brands. Now, looking at the EWG website, Method's dish soap does get a D. The most problematic part of the dish soap is that it's not good for our waterways. So the aquatic toxicity is pretty high and comparing it to the Gain dish soap that I used to use, it also gets a D. <laughs> so is it better, you guys? I don't know. It's hard to say. I feel like yes, it is better even though they both got a D. I would still buy Method over Gain. 
Comparing gain and method side by side, you can see that while they have the same score, gain by far has more harmful ingredients than method does. And that's including dyes and ammonium that are not used in method. So I do still agree that these products marketed as non-toxic are less toxic than the leading brands, but they're not non-toxic. So then the seventh generation dish soap, my opinion about it, I also liked it. I felt like it was thick enough for me and it smelled good and it washes the dishes well. I'm also not applying it constantly to my cloth to make sure that it stays sudsy. So that's nice. And you know, it was good. Again, I would also buy that. Lastly is Mrs. Meyer's dish soap. This gets a D. And also it's problematic in the aquatic toxicity section, but also it is um, has some asthma and respiratory issues. I didn't like the texture the consistency of the mrs myers it was a little bit thinner to me i felt like i was reapplying it on my washcloth a lot it didn't suds up a lot in my opinion the smell was nice and they actually have a bunch of different smells to choose from if you order from their website actually all of these products that i'm talking about today you can get from target so that's super easily accessible like you don't have to go online and order these things now as far as the ingredients go for each of these products all of them have sodium lauryl sulfates now i thought sulfates were bad but i keep seeing them in all of these green products so you know i'm starting to wonder if it is bad i mean it probably is another thing that each of these dish soaps have is methyl something i can't pronounce it not gonna try but all of these have this methyl ingredient i think that's part of the problem with it kind of scoring lower on the scale well according to ewg sodium laurel sulfate isn't the worst ingredient but it can be an irritant to humans and toxic to fish Methyl chloral is deemed very toxic to aquatic life and also can irritate skin. So they're not the best to be going into cleaning products or anything that's going to be close to your body. Now let's talk about cleaning spray. So again, I started with Method as my first cleaning spray and Method gets a C for their cleaning spray, their all-purpose clementine spray. The Mrs. Meyers all-purpose cleaner, I'm not such a big fan of. Um, I have it in the peony scent, which smells nice, but I, uh, I just didn't feel like it was working very well. Just felt like I was spraying the counter with water, like scented water, and then just wiping it up. I didn't feel like it was clean. This product does get a D from the EWG website and it says that it has a high environmental impact. So, you know, take that and do what you will with it. Lastly is 7th Generation's all-purpose cleaner, but actually this is an all-purpose cleaner. So as I was like buying Mrs. Myers and Method, these are all-purpose cleaner. They're not necessarily things that are going to like disinfect. So when I was at Target recently, I found the seventh generation one that says that it's a bathroom disinfectant. And so I was like, yes, you know, so I bought it and I like it. Even though the scent says that it's lemongrass and citrus, I don't smell that. I just smell oregano, which is very interesting when you're cleaning the bathroom. But, you know, I think we've been, or at least I've been conditioned to feel like the smell of bleach means that it's clean. <laughs> I still don't feel like it's really cleaning stuff, but you know, maybe it is, I don't know. I need to get a black light or something or like a super magnifying glass or something to see if the germs are really being killed. <laughs> so really all of these products, C, 
still have environmental impact from the ingredients to also they're all in plastic so it's not the best option for cleaning products but if you're just starting out you're new to the environmentally friendly um, world <laughs> then I would totally suggest trying any of these three products but it seems like seventh generation is probably one of the better between these three. Overall I am very conflicted about these products. Seeing such low scores for products that are labeled as non-toxic is concerning and the fact that they're packaged in plastic is frustrating and knowing that these companies are owned by problematic corporations is the worst part to me. They say that we should vote with our dollar so I want to buy green products so that there's more of a demand but I don't want to give that money back to the company that's ultimately part of the problem. And it's like, sure, yeah, we can make our own products or buy in bulk, but not everyone has the ability or even the time or desire to do that. If you're watching this video and you're thinking about trying one of these brands to switch from Clorox or Lysol or etc., then do it for sure. Go ahead and do it. I think that it will be better than buying the leading brands, right? It's not the best option, but at the end of the day, it's not the worst option either. For people like me who are in a position to make their own products or to buy in bulk, then I think that it's a good idea to do it. So since I'm in a position where I can make my own products, like I have all the tools to do it and I have the time and I have at least a little bit of desire to do it. So I think that it's a good idea for me to go ahead and do it because I can and it's pretty easy. If you're interested in seeing stuff like that, then make sure you're subscribed to the channel because I'll be posting that video pretty soon. Hopefully you found this video more helpful than confusing. I know it's a lot of information and it's kind of hard to decipher what it all means and especially like what it means to you and your position on it because it's gonna vary from person to person. And at the end of the day, all I want to do is for us to make better choices for the health of our bodies and for the health of the planet. So whatever I can do to help you or even me and people I know to make better choices, then, you know, I feel like I'm doing a good job. So once again, make sure you're subscribed to the channel and be sure to look out for the next video. Thanks for watching. Ciao.